Good evening gamers and welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village and I think it's time to continue where we left off so let's have a look around to see where we ended last time. So yeah I think uh, last time we played we just set up some basic stuff. I put the game in pause for now. I have 10 villagers. Four of them live in that house and the rest lives in the small houses uh, it's still late spring so uh, yeah I still have some time to survive for the first winter I should check out hmm, potatoes are fine I think I have a hunter going as well so I have fish I have meat and I also should be getting some vegetables pretty soon and I will probably be running low on fruit so something I might add is a, hmm, let's check. Maybe we have, a, what do we have? An orchard. Yes, that's it. Maybe we should add an orchard. Mm, I can't really add anything up here. Not enough space. Okay. So maybe something here close to the well. Maybe. Uh... Not enough space. There you go. So they will be building an orchard here, which should get me some fruit as well. Now, what else do we need? We definitely need some more housing, but I have no idea if I can, uh, if I, I, I have enough materials to make some. So yeah, I can make the shacks, the little shacks that I have here, but I should probably be trying to bake some, uh, some houses. I shouldn't be placing them too low to uh, uh, too close to the rest, I think. I have no idea how this works, but I heard that uh, there are also, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, disasters happening. So what's the front? This seems to be the front. So if this is the end of the orchard, I should leave one gap and see where I can place it from here. This should be a good spot. So that's one additional house. This should be a second house, I think. It's should probably be looking in the same direction. Oh yeah, it's the R key to turn things. Something like that, I think. Ah, uh, the land isn't flat enough. That might be an issue in the future. Uh, let's see if I can build one in here, maybe. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't pick the correct one. So, okay. The R key turns things around. Maybe this is the way, way to go. This will work. Yeah, it seems like this one will work, but that will mean I will end up with a lot of empty space. Oh, yeah, this should be a lot better. let's see let's see how that goes so i have a farm where i have people working i will have a an orchard where people will be working and i'm gonna be having two more houses let's uh let's unpause the game and see how this goes for now of course i should probably also do i have some idle people i have no idle people what am i missing soon i still have quite a bit of firewood I still have quite a bit of logs I have quite a bit of everything so uh, this one is oh this is strange it says this one is idle but it doesn't show it idle on this screen Ah, uh, strange okay let's try to grab everything we can in this area then there they will be trying to collect some uh, materials I think for the time being that's uh, that's just about everything I can do the fisher, I have one fisher going, which is fine. I have two farmers going. I should have two farmers going. Normal growth. Okay. It isn't paused, so it should be fine. Huh. What are they doing now? They seem to be running... Oh yeah, they, they are bringing... I think they are bringing materials to this guy who is making firewood. At some point I should probably uh, stop this. 
I think once you have about 500 firewood, you should have pretty much enough. So I think probably it would be a good idea to remove the guy from the firewood thingy, the lumberjack's house, and repurpose him for something else. But what's everyone doing actually? I have five. I don't need five builders. I definitely don't need five builders. Can I? I can't remove you. Builders construct buildings. Yes. Then, oh, I have zero builders. <laughs> I'm so silly. I have zero builders. I have one fisher, which is good. I have one hunter, which is good. I have two farmers, which is okay-ish, and I have one lumberjack, which is one, two, three, four, five. And I have six people. Oh yeah, one guy is idle, which is the guy bringing back and forth the mater materials, I think. Uh, why, why do I have two farmers if I only need one? Yes. This, uh, this little potato field is too small to host two farmers, so why, why did I put two farmers on it? Okay, anyway, uh, we have two people bringing materials back and forth to the little village. So that should be fine for now, I think. I want this one to produce. Mm, yeah, 400 should be enough. But why? What's this one doing? Mm -hmm. He's watering the plants. Probably these plants. Yeah, he's the farmer. Uh, why aren't they bringing materials to here? I do have enough materials, right? Oh yeah, look, this one is almost there. I need logs. I don't have any logs anymore. That's what's happening. Yes, that's what's happening. So this guy is... of this or this lady is chopping all the wood and she will be bringing it back to the little storage area and once she has enough wood, she will probably bring it to the construction area. I think that's the thing. So yeah, for the time being, I'm, I'm limited to six adults because the, the, the rest is still babies, a baby and three uh, teenagers. So those can't really work for me, I think. Hmm, I should be expanding. I built two new houses, but I have to pay attention that I don't expand past what I can handle with uh, all the food I have. Because yeah, you can expand all you want, but once you have not enough food, people will start dying anyway. So I need to pay attention to that. So an orchard will get me some fruit. This one should get me some vegetables. I have the hunter who's hunting for some meat. And I have the fishers who are bringing in some fish. So once my little village is expanding, I should be able to reallocate some, uh, some of my uh, villagers to other things. I hope. As I mentioned in the last episode, I'm certainly not an expert at this game. I'm just uh, trying to play it, trying to survive summer. So this is too small for two. I probably should have built this a little bit bigger. So he seems to be planting potatoes, which is fine. He can, the field is big enough for 500 potatoes, which should be enough for now, I think. I probably built those fields way too small. But yeah, I think it should be enough to start with. We can see what we need later on. I'm trying not to place buildings too close to one another because I read that disasters can happen. And if your buildings are way too close to one another, then disasters uh, will spread like fire if you have a fire somewhere it will spread to the neighboring uh, buildings faster if there is no road in between them no gaps in between them so this one has a gap of one tile which means the fire won't be spreading as fast to the building next to it there is no gap in between these so a fire on this one could probably hit this and this pretty fast hmm dangerous so what's the status on the building. Two people are building this, which is fine for now. They are still missing logs, I think. I definitely need more logs. 
Huh. Which means I should probably have... What's this? A Forester's Lodge. Oh yeah, I placed the first Forester's Lodge uh, in the last episode, but I didn't start it yet. I think the Forester's Lodge is used to uh, gather and maybe also plant trees to gather even more wood. But I kind of paused it because I don't really have any villagers to do it anyway. So, come on, speed up the process a little bit. Let me speed up to times two and see what's happening. So this guy is planting, oh yeah, he is planting the vegetables. It's early summer, so I still have quite a bit of time to uh, collect the, the potatoes. So for the time being, everything... Oh, I don't have any builders. What? Let's assign one builder at least. That's probably the whole reason why nothing is getting built. I don't have any builders assigned. One, two, three, four, five, and one. Who's not doing a thing? Who's bringing stuff back and forth, which makes six in total? Yes. That's probably the reason why I don't see any progress. Also, if you hear something strange in my voice, no worries. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, I know it's been very hot here in Belgium lately, but I think uh, going from the the hotness outside into the coolness of the air conditioned, uh, yeah, office, that's kind of making me sick, I think. I'm really liking how this game is evolving. I didn't know anything about the game. I've heard that it seems uh, to be a little bit uh, of a banished clone, but as I mentioned in the last episode, I never played banished, so I, I wouldn't know at all. So the orchard is ready. But I don't have the people to work in the orchard. Once this is ready, it should be... Huh, which one are they building now? They should focus on one? 61... Yeah, why are the focusing on two buildings at the same time. I don't get it. Or are they waiting for something here? Do I have tools? Oh, tools might be a thing. Huh. Let's pause this one for now. And maybe they will focus on this one first then? I don't know. I, don't, I really do not know. But look, our little village, uh, Mortyville, is starting to explode. Band, which is great. Let me check on the stuff. I have 819 fish, which is good. Fruit is getting low. Vegetables, I don't have any. Uh, bread, I still have some bread and I have some meat. So yeah, my first uh, villagers should go into getting more food. The fire, which seems to be pretty much okay. What's this? Why is it saying this? The limit has been reached. Uh, let's make 500 then. No, 500 I'm saying. Apparently you can set up a limit for uh, people to produce stuff. So what does this mean? He will keep producing firewood, which is great. Great, great. So once this one is done, I can unpause this one and that will make sure people will start to uh, make stuff in here. But I need to wait for that. I don't really need my builders once this is done and this is done. I don't really need the builders anymore. And I should probably be relocating them to uh, the orchard. Because right now nobody is... Uh, huh. Nobody is actually making any... Let me remove this one for now and put it into the orchard. There, add one in here. I have a little buffer of fish. And I think the fish, you can grab fish all year long. But uh, the orchard, you have to do that while it's probably hot outside, I think. So let's see how this goes. I have to keep an eye on, on time. Because now I'm playing at twice the normal speed and yeah, I should probably not be playing like that all, like that all the time. I think probably uh, this one is done. Yes, three out of five. 
So now I can unpause this one. And they should start building on that one next. Once that is done, I can turn the builder into a... A farmer. I hope. I really hope. It's still summer, so... Uh, winter is coming, but it's still <laughs> a little bit out of reach. I hope, I really hope that this will provide me with a few more. This is 3 out of 5, this is 5 out of 5, which means I have room for 2 more, 1 more, 2 more, 1 more. Okay. Now if I upgrade this one, it will make 3 people houseless, homeless, but they can move to this one. Should I try that? Now let's see, upgrade. Ooh, I don't have the stuff for it. No, no, no. I need a lot of logs. No, not going to do that. So, yeah. I need tons of logs. <laughs> uh, this one isn't doing thing. Why not? I don't know why not. What's this one? No resources for production. What am I missing? Logs. Of course I'm missing logs. So, this one should be paused for now. And that will mean I can remove this guy. It's maybe even better. Then he can go collect some stuff for me. Actually, I should probably be... Do I have an orchard guy? I don't see it anywhere. Oh yeah, apples. One guy is working on apples. Great. Uh, do I really have to do that? That's stupid. Okay, apples. He will be planting apples. <laughs> apples. <sighs> Let him do that. Let him do that. And see... I'm missing 40 logs. I'm missing quite a bit of logs. I need... I definitely logs. Oh, what's the other thing I need? Hold on a sec. What is this? Hey! Does this mean I will have to make a... Hay farm? Hold on a sec. Hay? Flax crop. Ooh, hay is probably dried grass. So I will need another farm producing grass, I think. Huh. Collect hay. Collect oh yeah, that's the normal collection, but I probably need to build a farm. Another farm. Uh, another farm making orchard. Gatherer's hut. A field. Yes, a field. That's what I need. A field. Let's place it somewhere. So this is one gap, yes. Yeah, no, 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 not, not like that. Maybe two. Something like this. Not enough space, really. What does that mean? Oh, I need a field like this? That big? Really? Not enough space. Why is it saying that? Huh. Can I make this really? Let's let's just check. I don't care. So let's pause this one for now and wait until this one is done. It still needs 30 more. Oh, I have one guy left. Should probably turn this one on too. Continue with that one. Why? Why I'm so stupid sometimes. Look, there's one guy in here. But the whole thing is paused, so the building isn't even completed yet. So I have three people. Let's assign one to building. And this guy is making apples. This is fine. These guys are already working on the uh, potatoes, which should get me some food, at least some vegetables at some point. I'm running low on veg. I don't have any vegetables, actually. So yes, I need vegetables, I need more, more meat, I need more fish, and I definitely need more logs. But I think the logs, I will be getting the logs from uh, this guy here. Where is he? Yes, the first is large. Uh, I will have to wait until that one is completed then. The farm can be on, on pause for now. I definitely need this building as well. Uh, I don't want to add any more... <laughs> I don't really want to add any more builders because if I add one more builder, I don't have gatherers anymore. 
show the villager on screen. Mm -hmm. Have two people carrying resources, which I definitely need. I have 429 firewood, so I'm hoping that will be uh, basically enough to uh, survive for this winter. Well, the winter that's coming. I still have some time uh, to prepare for things, to prepare for the winter, though. I'm still running at twice the speed as well. So you can make 240 apple, uh, 224 apples. That's not a lot. You can make 500 potatoes, which is okay -ish. He has 150 now. Road process. I don't really understand why is 160 almost two thirds of, of 540? Ah, no idea. Oh, something happened. Food reserves are low. Why? Why are food reserves low? I'm making... I have fish. I have uh, bread. I don't really have any more fruit. And I don't have any vegetables at all. So I should probably build a bigger farm at some point. A bigger field that yields more potatoes. Maybe. Still have some time. It's summer. So yeah, after summer is fall, <laughs> I still have time for this to fill up completely. What are you doing? You don't have any apples yet? Come on, make me some apples, will you? Still waiting for the logs on this one. And this one is also waiting for logs, logs and stone. Stone, he has enough stone, so I need some more logs for this one. Once that one is ready, I will be able to uh, to gather logs from this area if I assign one guy uh, to here. Should be able to gather some more logs. And I think, I hope, it will also allow me to uh, to make some, uh, build some, place some trees. I hope so. I, I'm not quite sure. I haven't been that far yet, so I will see once it happens. So you are still waiting on logs as well. Hmm... Let's see what we can do. Uh, I think for the time being, there isn't really much I can do. I really wish that there was a, a way to hide all user interface elements to make a screenshot. That would be amazing, actually. I can do that by clicking on this guy, hmm. going into first person view, and having a look around. Open inventory. I don't really want to open my inventory, you fool. Yes, something like this should be a good screenshot. There, let him do something. Okay, update. This one is... Yeah, I paused this one. This one is waiting for more logs. 14 more logs. And this one is waiting for 12 more logs. Or 11, actually. My village has gained one population. Oh, they are expecting a baby. Babies are happening. So that's three, two. Oh, no, two, two is seven, nine, eleven, which is exactly <laughs> what I see here. Eleven. Yeah. Two toddlers, the toddlers here. Yeah. Nothing I can do with the toddlers for now. So this guy is... I hope he's making apples. He's planting apples. I'm not sure. This field is... Getting near its full potential. I'm hoping once that is done, he will be starting to gather the... The stuff. The vegetables, the potatoes. Oh, look, we have a wolf in our... Uh, no, it's a fox, actually. Yeah, we have a fox... A fox in our fields. Does this mean I will have to protect uh, the area? The farmer is still doing his stuff. Great, food reserves are still low. <laughs> Not my kind of thing. Okay, but anyway, I think... Uh, we're getting prepared for winter, so 
I think it's probably a good idea to end up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. And while you are there, check out the description as well. That's where you find more information and links to the social media pages and the Patreon page as well. And while you're there, feel free to also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscribe goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I will be wrapping up today's episode. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.